Collier County MediFlight program has been in service for over 40 years. Uh, we have cover 2,000 square miles here in Collier County. Um, our resident population, full-time residents, is about 400,000 now. Uh, and during seasonal times, we actually go up about 100,000 more. Uh, so we do have a lot of citizens and visitors to take care of, a lot of area to cover. And a lot of our area uh, is wilderness because of the Everglades National Park. Um, in addition, we have a large waterway uh, and a lot of boat population down here. Uh, so having this aircraft is very vital to us uh, because Collier County does not have a trauma center. Uh, so when someone is severely injured and needs specialty trauma care, they need to be taken to the appropriate facility. Uh, if we were to take a patient by ground ambulance to those facilities, it could take us well over an hour to get there. Uh, and the aircraft allows us to actually get these patients delivered to the trauma center in, in somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes, depending on the location of the incident. Well, we're happy to add this new H-135T3H to our fleet. So uh, currently we have a backup ship of a, an old T-1. Uh, and the T-3 here is gonna be its replacement. Uh, this is our third uh, Airbus product. Uh, so that long-standing relationship has been amazing for us. Uh, the support, um, anytime we need anything, uh, Airbus is on top of it. So that relationship is very important for us. Probably big three for us. The reason we picked this aircraft for our fleet is our relationship with Airbus was a, was a big factor. Uh, autopilot. We don't have an autopilot with our previous aircraft, so that's another safety enhancement uh, that we were looking forward to. And then lastly is the Helionics and, and all the benefits that the Helionics brings to the uh, table for us. The big thing that the pilots were looking forward to, and me as well, is that just the ease of use of it, right? So looking at one place in the aircraft uh, to get all the information, all the vital information, was key for us. So having the first limit indicator, that's one place I have to look. I don't have to look at two other gauges and four other gauges to uh, be notified of things. The, uh, one of the great benefits as well with the Helionics is that it's all tied into everything that we have, right? So we have cameras that we use, our weather radar, um, and all the information is centrally located. So this helicopter has a lot of added safety features that make it safer for the flight medics um, when loading and unloading patients. For example, the closed intel rotor, the clamshell doors. There are two cameras. One is uh, just above the clamshell doors facing aft, and another one is on the Fenestron itself facing forward. And that allows us, when we land, uh, for the pilots to be able to observe what's going on around uh, the aircraft while the team is out there, the flight medic team, loading and unloading the patient. And we can also have a little bit of scene security as well by using those cameras. Excellent feature. Uh, we weren't sure if that was going to be a great thing for us, but it ends up to be a fantastic feature to have, actually. One of the biggest benefits is we can take extra fuel now, which allows us to go further places. In the past, we would always have to come home or stop at an airport to get fuel if we had a second call. Now we can just take that call and roll with it and not have to stop because we can take the extra fuel due to the performance of the aircraft. Airbus has extended a lot of maintenance, so your downtime is less now than before. That does not mean that we're short in any maintenance. We still have maintenance, but now there are longer intervals that make the aircraft fly for more time than you have to keep constantly be doing maintenance. With these added safety features, it allows us to shed seconds, minutes off of the patient transport time to help us meet that golden hour and keeps the flight medics safe while they're doing that.